Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I'm really excited about today because we are going to be learning about slugs. And then we're going to be comparing those slugs to something that we learned about yesterday. Does anybody know? They use their muscles. They contract and stretch like this to move. What are they called? Anybody? Earthworms or inchworms. So we're going to be comparing slugs and inchworms, and then we're going to be talking about how they're different than insects. But first, we got to go find some inchworms and slugs. So let's head outside. We're going to need inside, we're going to need a magnifying glass, some containers to put the slugs in and the earthworms in, two different ones so we can tell the difference. Uh, some m paper, some markers, and that should be it for right now. Alrighty, so let's go head outside and let's go see where we can find some. All right. All right, boys and girls, I have found my slug. Okay, I'm going to carefully put it into my glass container, but I am going to bring it back to its habitat. It's just so it's comfortable at home. And then I'm going to dig right in here and look for a worm because I have a feeling that they're going to be living in the same area. All right, hold on one sec. So I'm moving through some soil right now. And look, I just found an inchworm. All right. I have yet to find... Uh-oh. Here we go. Come on, little guy. There he is. That's a really small one, right? All right, I'm going to put it in that container. And let me look a little bit more, see if I can see anything. Oh, here's another one. What color is this one? The other one was white. Now this one is black. Alright, let's add this one to our worm container. Alright, boys and girls. So look, I have a worm chart and a slug chart. But you want to know something cool is that, uh-oh, my slug's on the move. Come here, little slug. You're going to fall off. Here, let's see if he gets on the crayon. So I thought this was a worm, but I've learned it's not now because it has legs and we know worms don't have legs and it has antennas and worms don't have antennas either. But this is a worm because it's using its muscles to inch forward. All right, so I've compared the two. So now I'm gonna draw them. Look, he's on the move. He's like, I am out of here. I'm going to put these guys back in their habitat so they're back comfortable at home. So I was able to find one slug, one worm, and even though I thought I found another worm, I actually found an insect because like we learned last week, insects have exo exoskeletons, they have antennas, and they have legs. And that black insect that I thought was a worm had all three of those. So, I have them back in here. I have my slug in here. I don't know if you can see him. I don't want to flip him over. And I've got my one little clear white worm. And I have that insect with the exoskeleton and its legs. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to color on my chart. I'm going to color my worm and I'm going to color my slug and I'm gonna use five different adjectives to describe them and see how they're different. So what I want you to do is I want you to go outside, find an earthworm or a worm, find a slug, and we're gonna talk about how they're different. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go back outside and put these little guys back in their homes. And I can't wait to see what you find. Send me some videos, send me your contrast charts, and don't forget, 
that there is a difference between worms and slugs, but there's also a difference between insects, worms, and slugs. All right, guys, have so much fun outside in your project. I can't wait to see what you find. All right, boys and girls. So look, I have a worm chart and a slug chart, but you wanna know something cool is that, uh-oh, my slug's on the move. Come here, little slug. You're gonna fall off. Here, let's see if he gets on the crayon. So I thought this was a worm, but I've learned it's not now because it has legs, and we know worms don't have legs, and it has antennas, and worms don't have antennas either. But this is a worm because it's using its muscles to inch forward. All right, so I've compared the two. So now I'm gonna draw them. Look, he's on the move. He's like, I am out of here. I'm gonna put these guys back in their habitat so they're back comfortable at home. 